Hi, my name is Peter Koch and I'd like to welcome you to building your first HoloLens application and mine too. So over the next 10 or 12 weeks, I'm going to blog regularly on actually building a really advanced HoloLens application, uh, starting from the very ground up. I'm a top 10 finalist this year in the Microsoft Unity HoloLens competition. And so um, I have to actually produce a winning entry in that competition. And I'm going to use this blog as a way to show you my progress. Uh, we can learn things together, explore what HoloLens is really good at, and try and build a, an amazing application. And for me specifically, it's an application that's going to work in schools and uh, help kids uh, have a better education. So the very start here, we've got basically nothing. Um, and I'm assuming you guys have never written any HoloLens applications either. Um, I'm assuming you've got some maybe Unity knowledge um, and a bit of development knowledge, and we'll go from there. So the first thing you need to do is to install Unity. Um, the current released version, as you can see on the screen there, is 2017.1, and that's what I'm going to use. Uh, so I've already installed it here, but just uh, come to unity3d.com, do get Unity, download Unity, um, and install it. When you actually install it, make sure you choose the uh, Universal Windows platform uh, as one of the install options. The next thing you need to do is you need to install Visual Studio. Um, you can install the free version. The, that's the Visual Studio Community 2017 version. So basically you install that and when you run it the first time it's gonna then go down and download the latest SDK for Windows which you need. Okay, so I'm just going to launch Unity here and I'm going to create a new project. We'll call it Hello World. Sorry about that. Um, and we'll create that project. Okay, here we are. So the first thing we want to do is uh, make sure that we're actually on the right platform. So we're just going to go build settings. Uh, file build settings, top screen, and you want to have the universal Windows platform selected. So we're going to switch platform to that. We're going to create a new um, scene. So if I just go add open scene, it'll actually prompt me for the name of it. So we'll just call it um, main scene. And uh, you can see some options here. We know we're going to develop for HoloLens, so we might as well just select HoloLens there. For the SDK, uh, which I've already installed, we're just going to go latest, but you can see I'm using 10.0.15063.0. So we'll close that now. So with a HoloLens application, um, it's basically the main camera is going to be the view that you see. Now there's two types of HoloLens applications. One is a flat screen, basically like a desktop window that you can float in your space. And the other one is an immersive application, which is the full 3D, being able to walk around and see things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my uh, player settings. There we are. And we're going to come down here and we're going to turn on virtual reality mode. That is what we need to do to um, support the immersive style mode in this particular version of um, Unity 3D. So I've come down here to other settings, you know, virtual reality supported, and you can see that it's by default it's already selected uh, Windows Holographic because I'm on the universal Windows platform. If I was on Windows uh, standard platform, it'd probably give me the Oculus and the Open VR options there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is let's call our give our name and app. So hello world, that's pretty good. And let's go back to our main scene now. And so the way that the main camera works for HoloLens is this is representing what we're going to see through the headset. So we just need to change this, get rid of the skybox, and we're going to make it a solid color. We're going to make it black. Uh, black is see-through on HoloLens, um, which means you can't actually render black. Um, but what you do in apps that I've seen, if you want to render a black color, uh, is do, do kind of a gray. A gray color and because HoloLens is so bright uh, in the display, um, grays tend to look a bit black anyway. 
Okay, so um, the documentation says for the flipping plane to make it 0.885. Um, you can find all this documentation uh, on uh, Microsoft's Windows Mixed Reality website, uh, developer.microsoft.com, English, US, Windows, Mixed Reality. There's lots of resources on there. Um, I haven't even had a chance to go through it all yet. But there's basically a, a, a setting that says 0.85. I'm not 100 percent sure why they've gone for the 0.85. Um, I think it's kind of a compromise um, to kind of stop you walking too close to objects because the field of view on the HoloLens that I can see is only about 55 degrees. It's actually quite small. And so if you get really close to an object, um, you end up like being so close that most of it's clipped away. So I think that's part of the 0.85. Um, I also think that the stereoscopic display starts to um, cause you a bit of eye strain when you're really close to objects. Uh, so I think there's a few things like that, but but actually what we're going to do in this app, because I just want to get really close, is I'm just going to put it at 0.05. So we're going to clip only at five centimeters from our eyes. Uh, you, can, you can follow the standard if you want. Uh, so I'm just going to save that. Now, um, we could we could build this, but we just have nothing to see. So let's add some content in. Uh, what I might do is um, just grab an asset from the asset store. So, well, the first thing we'll do is let's put a cube in just to give us something to sort of reference from. So uh, I also didn't move the main camera. So I'm gonna move the main camera to zero, zero, zero. That's where, um, HoloLens will start when we start our application. And I'll put this cube at zero to in, in front of us. So that cube is two meters away from us. The default Unity cube is one meter by one meter, so that's quite large. So I'm just gonna make it 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, um, just so we've got something to reference. So let's go and grab a real asset though. Um, I've got a few assets in my downloads already, so let's just go and have a look for, uh, there's a jet asset there I know. Uh, space Warrior Jet, so let's import that. Jet in, grab the jet. You'll notice that this content is not attached to the main camera. So that means that the content is going to float in front of us and we can walk all around it. So here's our jet. Let's drag him into the scene. Let's also put him at zero, zero, two. Uh, zero. Maybe the scale is one, one, one. It's a little, maybe we can go two, two, two. Okay, so so he's so the jet there we can see is going to be um, a little bit bigger than our 10 centimeter box. I think that's perfect. I think that's a good size. So we'll get rid of our cube now to just turn him off so he doesn't take up any space. And let's also put in some UI. So I'm just going to put a canvas in. Uh, let's start with a panel first. And we want this canvas to be in world space so we can see it. Now, if you've done any world space programming, you know that canvases are going to start off huge. So I'm just going to set this canvas to be 1024 by 768 wide. And then I'm going to just shrink it way down. I think 0.01 is always about the right size for the canvas. So we can see now we've got a canvas. It's actually quite a bit bigger than our our um, our plane there. So I'll just go 0.05. Cool. Okay. And then let's put some text on there. UI uh, text. And we'll center that text component. We'll make it a bit bigger. We'll, we'll do it uh, 800 wide by 400 high, just so there's plenty of space. We'll bump that font size up to maybe 70, 75. 
We'll go hollow world. And the color's pretty crappy, so let's just go with a, a cool kind of bluey purple hollow, hollow lens color. Blue purple there. Uh, and always good to just throw the outline control on so that it stands out a bit more. And uh, so let's have a look here. What we've got there. Um, we want to flip it around, maybe. Let's just see where we are. We're probably, well, we're right on zero, so we're on the camera. So let's let's drag it forward a bit so that it's over here with our. We'll just put it just behind our aeroplane. Maybe just up a little bit above it. And our aeroplane's stuck, kind of facing the wrong way. So let's just flip our aeroplane around completely. Okay, cool. Okay, so there you can see in our scene we've got our camera here at zero, zero. We can hide our panel. We don't need that anymore. We can see our jet two meters in front of us and we can see our hollow world sign just behind it. Okay, so let's build uh, this guy. So we'll go build. We can just go to, we don't need any of the capabilities in player settings. So there's a lot of stuff we can choose later on. Um, whether we're using internet, spatial perception, um, microphones, all that kind of stuff. But for this first app, we're not going to do any of that. Um, so we're just going to build this and uh, put it on device and see if it works. So let's go build. And we'll just create a build folder. Select folder and we'll now be building. Okay, there we go. So now we can just go into our builds folder, open up solution. And uh, the HoloLens is actually uh, x86 device. So we're going to do a release build x86. My HoloLens is currently plugged in via USB, and I previously paired it um, the first time I ran Visual Studio and tried to install it, had a whole lot of uh, weird. Uh, errors and that was because my device wasn't paired and so all I had to do is go into the actually wearing a HoloLens go into settings in the HoloLens uh, go to updates and developer and then there's a pair button and um, it will actually give you a pin pin code and Visual Studio prompts you to say what's the pin code and then it actually pairs uh, so it can take a little bit of time just to get all that sorted but uh, that's all done now. So all I need to do is do release x86 and then I've chosen my device. If my HoloLens isn't plugged in, then device won't be available as an option. Uh, and it can run in the emulator or it can just run as a normal Windows app. And so now we can um, we can choose what we want to do. If we do deploy, it'll actually build the app and install it onto the HoloLens. Um, just to make sure your HoloLens is running, click the power button on it. Uh, just to make sure that it is there. I'm just going to put it on. Okay, so I'm looking through at our screen now. I'm just going to trigger Hollow World. And you'll see that I get a white um, screen. I'm just going to turn it over our desktop. We've got the navy being in his flash screen. I'll show you next time how to get rid of that and how to get rid of that white screen. And there is our content floating right in front of me. So I'll take a photo of that. And that is your first application.